The Welsh Maiden is the 43rd and final race of the week. 10 furlongs. Maiden, top one, big celebration. Leon van Rensburg, Bloodstone, Michael Scala, Dandery Note, Craig Allen, Munir Edition, Thomas Rogers, Cruise on by Craig Beckwith, Milady Place, James Shea, Opera House, Graham Clutterbuck, Silk and Satin, Padraig Hogan, Success Transit, Ryan Costello, Dan's Watches, Steve Rand, Dagar Tune, Saranaga Racing, Magic Crusader, Jim Murray, Northern Bolt, El Cantor, Saffron About, B. Fotheringham, Without Parade, Danny, Legend of Zubo, Joshua Sutherland, Perfect Storm, Obi Wan, Queen's Gambit, Saranaga Racing, She's a Cracker, Satyam, Tonto, Nina for Padraig Hogan and B. Fotheringham's got the bottom one. I think Saf ran about or maybe Wayne run. They're off and racing. And as they rake their way then through the first couple of furlongs, let's see what's going to lead. It looks like She's a Cracker and Legend of Zubo are going to dispute it, but they're spread right across the track with She's a Cracker in the lead. Legend of Zubo second. Perfect Storm right over on the far side is third. Success Transit and Magic Crusader. That's the lead in five. And they're clear of the remainder. Looking towards the back down. Hans watches the grow. The last one in shot. Northern Bolt is out of shot at the moment, but it's She's a Cracker in the lead. Legend of Zumo is second. Perfect Storm is third. Then comes Sunset Transit fourth. Magic Crusade is after that one. Queen's Gambit is next. And Dandery Note really wide on the track, but it's She's a Cracker in the lead then. And leads then by about a length to Legend of Zumo in second. Perfect Storm is third. Success Transit is next. Magic Crusader. Queen's Gambit cruise on by. Quite a few of these running wide are going to be struggling to get into this, but it's She's a Cracker in front. She's a cracker by a couple to Legend of Zubo in second. Then comes Perfect Storm and Sunset Transit. Cruise on by Tonte. Nina's trying to get into as well. Looking towards the back. The back marker Northern Bolt is only about three lengths off the rest of them. But it's She's a cracker in the lead from Legend of Zubo. Then comes Perfect Storm and Success Transit. Saf run about. Big celebration. Dandery Note trying to run as well into the final four furlongs. And it's still She's a cracker in front. She's a cracker's in front. Then one big celebration. And Dandery Note. Magic Crusader. Still She's a cracker in front. Doing too fast for the camera. Man, right over on the far side, Dandery Note trying to come through. Also, Queen's Gambit now throwing down a big challenge. Two and a half furlongs to go, and it's She's a Cracker in front from Queen's Gambit. Tonte Nina, then Dandery Note, Magic Crusader, Saffron about is trying to get into it as well. There's still two furlongs to go, and it's She's a Cracker and Tonte Nina from Magic Crusader. Then Saffron about, big celebrations trying to get going as well, but it's still She's a Cracker. But now Tonte Nina's coming through the challenge. Right over on the far side, Saffron about, Dandery Note, big celebration into the final half furlong. Dandery Note and big celebration and then Magic Crusader is Dandery Note big celebration down this near side big celebration just in front from Magic Crusader big celebration takes it Magic Crusader second and Legend of Zuba and Milady Place and Dandery Note and the field will trail back to Dagar Tuna was the last one to finish and it might be the 43rd race of the week but the four or well, four of the top trainers have finished one two three four so there we go, and it's big celebration for Leon Van Rensburg, the winner, and Magic Crusader for Jim Murray was second, Legend of Zubo for Joshua Sutherland was third, Dandery Note for Craig Allen was fourth, and the fifth place horse I've just momentarily lost, and hopefully it'll come back, there we go. And the fifth place horse was my lady place for James Shea. So that's it. 43 races on the flat then this week. And we'll be back for week eight. <laughs>